thought they sat me next to you for you to be the sit me right. or for me to be the sit you. You're definitely getting a lap dance, that's for sure. My motivation comes from like my willingness to prepare and plan my week. What am I most passionate about? What is a priority in my life? What do I hope to achieve this week, this day, this morning? Alright guys, so uh, this morning I am starting my day the way I start probably at least half of my mornings here in Creskill, New Jersey. Uh, I either started off with hot yoga or aer aerial yoga. It's as much weight training as I have done over the past 20 years. I've developed some, some tightness and yoga has been one of the best things that I have ever kind of gotten into and made part of my fitness routine. Uh, not only to increase flexibility, but as you guys will see, really stretches out the tendons, the ligaments, and takes a lot of pressure off of um, the spinal column and uh, rehydrates the discs in between your vertebrae. So it's pretty rad, but the first time I did this class, I was freaking awful, and I'm still not good, but uh, I understand what I'm doing now. just learned a new maneuver called the vampire. I can't wait to see Lee try it, but here goes, here goes that I minute. Mean, if I bust my face on this, at least it will be documented. Nailed it! That's what you just saw is called the vampire fail. <laughs> This used to be uh, my home office, but Team Weatherford, Weatherford Fit, Armageddon is growing. Just hired two additional guys to help me create more content, a videographer and an editor. So um, there's not enough room for us here. On top of the main reason that I'm leaving is in 2017, I am trying to find a better work-life balance because I freaking worked every single day except for one day of 2016 really felt the imbalance of work and home working very 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 hard to separate the two i wasn't the dad i wasn't the father that um i know i'm capable of being in 2016 but i kind of forewarned my wife i'm like listen this is gonna be the toughest year of our marriage if we make through it we can make it through anything we made it through and now i'm moving this office into like a two-bedroom apartment and that will allow me to kind of work the eight to five and then come home and just be a dad and just be a husband. This is kind of the carnage of what's left behind. The boys are loading it up right now in the truck. And then we're gonna take all this over uh, to the new apartment that we're moving into that is essentially like an office. I feel like a real grown up now. We are on our way over to our new office headquarters. As soon as I get there, I've got to drop all of this stuff off. I've got to go get a back workout in or a chest workout in, and then uh, me and my boy Lee are going to the Knicks game at the Garden tonight. So, this is my new office. It's really just an apartment building, but it's furnished. I can move right in and be operational day one, whether it's workouts or it's mindset, it's motivation, you know, biohacking, whatever the case may be, whatever I want to film, I think this this outfit at this apartment complex is going to be really really cool because they got a nice gym they've got some nice um kind of communal areas where people can come and either work on their computers or film content um it's it's pretty awesome It's a freaking mess in here, but just got done getting all of the camera equipment, all the computers, tons of boxes, 
feeder bands. We got all this stuff moved in and now I'm heading over uh, to the gym. I'm gonna go hit a quick chest workout. After the quick chest workout, I'm gonna go home, grab some food, grab a shower, head into Manhattan, Madison Square Garden. Gonna see the New York Knicks play tonight. Let's go mad. Losing my mind, sleeping all these days. Right away, I can't help it, I'm this way. Every night on my grind, 4 a.m. They tell me that I'm on, thought I told you I'm the shit. Come back in the area to see where I'm at. Numbers get stacked all the way from the back of the pack into the man of the year. Got it like that. They told me I couldn't rap faster than women I get with, and I was like, okay. But when I get pissed off, I swear I turned into a savage. Like my name was OJ. Reminisce back to the old days when I wouldn't get any love. Now it's like when I walk around in my city, they all trying to tell me what's up. All trying to get on my nuts. That's old cash was All right, just got to the garden. We go in here. See the Knicks play. This is my first Knicks game of 2017. Last season I went to like probably 10 games. I'm stoked. Growing up as a kid and hearing about the Madison Garden, Madison Square Garden, like time after time after time. And now as an adult, I go there like at least once a month. So uh, pretty freaking awesome, man. into a new office, got a great chest workout in, went to my first Nick game of 2017, had a blast, they won. Life is good. I love you guys, um, and I enjoy doing this. So if there's any other portion of my life you guys want me to share more of, leave some comments um, below, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys because what you are doing is giving me your most precious commodity, and that is your time while you're watching this vlog. So I appreciate you guys. I look forward to next time. Talk soon. Good night.